a man I love. Yavuze ikintu gikomeye. Say the great word. Aravuga ngo ntabwo ntinya ejo hazaza. And he said I'm not scared of tomorrow. Baramubaza ngo kuki udatinya ejo hazaza. They ask him why don't you fear about tomorrow? Wewe ubasha kuhareba. Can you see your future? Arababwira ngo ntabwo ndebe ejo hazaza. He said I can see my tomorrow. None kubera ko udafite ubwoba bw'ejo hazaza. So why aren't you scared of your tomorrow? Arababwira ngo icama z'ubwoba bw'ejo. He said what takes over my worry of tomorrow? No confite ufite ejo. It is because I have the possessor of tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Let me repeat. What takes over the fear to a Christian of tomorrow? You see the way we are scared. Everything, the prices are up. You are thinking about everything you see, it's really hard. Why are we scared? Do you think about tomorrow and you can't find it? The problem is what? You don't have the one who has tomorrow. The greatest battle for the Christian it is to fight by yourself. You fight yourself. The devil doesn't have any chain. He chain a person with the chain he finds you with. The chain he finds you with, he chains you with it. The devil tells us that. That let's then stand But stay in the This path will not be the end If you yet offer sacrifice, be It won't work. Be out of it. Be out of it. So that we may go to the But God will do what's equal to your faith. God doesn't work as our power is. He doesn't do what's equal to our power. He doesn't do even what's equal to our power. His power. He's standing up here. He's telling people that may it happen as you believe. I've told the church members of our hours that the far a person can reach is not far where is in God's mind. The far you can reach, it's what's in your mind. The power of vision. The power of vision. I thank God that this is my first place I stand after getting this anointing of becoming a missionary. It's a great miracle from God. It's not, it's not normal for me to get like a, a midweek program like this. When I have a certain program, I take it for three months, two months. But this program or this plan of coming here did not spend a week. It is a plan of God. So I thank God for it. It for a long time ago working like a missionary. It's been my 12th year. 2011, this is when I was in Sudan. I was looking for the people who can receive Christ in their lives. Up to today, I still seek for the people to receive Christ. Amen. 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 But I'm going to tell you, it's really great. Let's keep our journey. Let's keep our journey. <laughs> While Israelite was from Egypt, they was making a journey so that the marriage where this bus will be taken over. They had a journey. And God called Moses. He told him, Moses, come and get them out of Egypt. They was in this place. They was in this path. I want them to be out of this path. Go and get them from Pharaoh's place. Come 
come from Pharaoh first. I'm going to tell you five traps of Pharaoh. Which is what we're going through nowadays. A person thinks that this person will be taken over to you. But you first need to take off something. There is a journey that you must first have. There is a journey that you must first have. The journey of fighting with Pharaoh. Exodus chapter 5 verse 2 the first trap I don't have time to read I will say it quickly those who can write it together the first battle the first trap of the devil God has told Moses he told him that Israelite clan is their time to be out of this land. But they met five traps of the devil. Which are what we're fighting nowadays. Those are what Christian doesn't accept to fight. Number first, Pharaoh told Moses. He told him that who is the Lord so that I can obey him? Who is the Lord so that I can obey him? No, I, Pharaoh. You tell me that the Lord. God has said, who is the Lord so that I can obey him? That was the first trap. He despised our God in our sight. He tell God, you that God didn't do anything. Let me tell you the serious problem. The Christians, we have problem of seeing God in what he didn't see. We look at God in those who has failed. You start despising God. It is the first trap of the devil. He come and whisper in our ears we, that who is our the Lord. Lord. Then they run and we say, who is the Lord? Who is that? When he wants to get you weak, he say, what's that? What's, what, 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 what's that? What's that? Yeah. Men of Christians have jumped <laughs> in that trap. Because we are saved. But come and hear from what will happen. Can we say amen? Hallelujah. Let's say hallelujah. Who is the Lord so that I can obey him? This is the first trap that Pharaoh gave to Israel. They wanted to be out of this fight. Then they go and I will take the crown. But they first need to fight the battles. This is the first battle. Who is the Lord so that I can obey him? The devil tells us that God didn't do it. When you feel the devil is telling you that God didn't do it. When you feel the devil is telling you that God didn't do it. When you feel the devil is telling you that God didn't do it. Who is the Lord? Then God bring troubles. God bring disasters. Then the second one came. Then Pharaoh told the Israelites. Look at the second thing he told them. Something really great. He told them that there is no problem. I will let you go to offer sacrifice to your God. Go and give out sacrifice to your God. But make sure you sacrifice in this country. Dear congregation of the Lord, listen to me. The devil is not worried or scared that we give up. He tells people that. I will allow you to go and become singers. You want to be a singer? Yes, get a microphone and. You want to be a musician? Go there and play the music. You want to give out offering? Go and give out. But he tells you that. Do it in this place, in my country, in Egypt. Do it in devil's territory. The second trap. The devil tells them that it doesn't matter to offer sacrifice to God. The sister, please go and be an interpreter. And the gospel, but do it in Egypt. He 
told them that. I allow you, please, offer sacrifice to your God. But make sure that you offer sacrifice in Egypt. Then God bring disasters. Look, this is the problem we are facing. A singer Manish sang. If it's fasting, the devil fasts. He doesn't eat if fast If you think that fasting is what can take you there, the devil never eats. It requires you. Fight. 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 <laughs> I like telling Christians <laughs> listen to me let's say amen I tell Christian to wait to beat hey, first. Hey, devil. When run and we say in the name of Jesus you first beat the devil if you if you yet fail yourself you cannot be successful if you yet feel like you failed for yourself it requires you to first win yourself so that you can be successful the greatest battle for the Christian it is to fight by yourself you fight yourself the devil doesn't have any chain he chain a person with the chain he finds you with the chain he finds you with he chains you with it the devil tells us that that let's then stay to God but stay in this place this path will not be taken up to you if you yet offer sacrifice be in it it won't work be out of it be out of repute so that we may go to the devil of praise so that this path may be taken to you be from Pharaoh's place what are you doing to Pharaoh's place? The third trap. The third trap. He told Israelites in Exodus 8.24 Exodus I will let you go as you deny to offer sacrifice to your God in this country. But make sure you don't go far from me. Don't go far from me. Go and offer sacrifice. But if I need you, I will come and get you. Then I let you go again. Christians. Christians. The devil is telling us that go. We dance. We dance. Prophets are facing challenges. They prophesy, they prophesy, they prophesy. Let me tell you the truth. God will not do what you ask. And God will not do for you what's equal to his power. God will do what's equal to your faith. Let me repeat this. Prophet Ernest Prophet Ernest will prophesy. Jean Paul is coming to prophesy. But God will do what's equal to your faith. God doesn't work as our power is. He doesn't do what's equal to our power. He doesn't do even what's equal to our power's power. He's standing up here. He's telling people that may it happen as you believe. I've told the church members of our hours that the far a person can reach is not far where is in God's mind. The far a person can reach is not far where is in God's mind. The far you can reach is what's in your mind. The power of vision. God has told Abraham that stretch your eyes where your eyes will reach this is where you will be I will not take you crossing where your eyes are and I will not take you where your eyes are this is where I will take you <laughs> then 
are even weak to see far I'm going slowly. In the market of miracles. In the market of miracles. The money that works there is called faith. Can you say that we come in the market of miracles? You go there and they tell you that you want a miracle. Yes, I come in need of miracle. Okay, get us faith. Then we give you miracle. In the market of miracles, the francs that work there is called faith. Prayers takes you in markets. If you reach there, they ask you faith. I try to reduce my philosophy so that you can listen. Let me tell you the truth. The hands that receives what from God. I'm married and I feel emotion, so you feel so. Because we have a serious problem. The serious problem that we have. This is what the pastor was talking about. It's what concerns the principles of God. The principles it is a cover. You got the meaning of a cover. The cover that covers the Christianity of a person. A person or a Christian who doesn't have principles his Christianity can be easily gotten. Let me repeat this. When you leave Christianity with no principles, your Christianity, everyone can access it. Let me request you this. Let's stop being hot, hot. Listen first. The principles, it is a bridge. It is a red that a person goes in so that you can receive what's from God. Because what's from God was set in principles. When you go in beyond the principles, don't think that you will receive what's from God. We will go to the principles so that we can receive. When you don't have principles, when you don't have principles, you always look at them far from you, but you don't get them. But those who want to receive what from God, they go on a red cord, principles of God. Is there anybody who, are, who is getting me? This. He said something great. Second book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. On last Wednesday, I stood here on this pulpit. The people who gather on Wednesday. I was telling about seven gates which takes a person in blessing. I let people speak about principles, not getting hot before you listen. Listen to the principle, activate it, and get its benefits. Whenever you get courage just to obey and understand me, the gate of the blessing will be opened and take you in. This is what the pastor was talking about. They tell you to receive the principle of the gates which opens for a body to enter in a blessing. That gate is called obedience. That gate which is open and you reach in the blessing. It says if you get ready to obey me. If you get careful to what I instruct you. This gate will be opened and you enter in the blessing. 
But what's pre-blessing? It is obedience. Hanyuma, then after, they told you to receive. And you received. Our principles. Our principles. If you go beyond the principle, they're lying to you. Our principles. <laughs> Is there anybody who's getting me? A man I love said a great word. And he said, I'm not scared of tomorrow. They ask him, why don't you fear about tomorrow? Can you see your future? And he said, I can't see my tomorrow. So why aren't you scared of your tomorrow? He said, what takes over my worry of tomorrow? It is because I have the possessor of tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Let me repeat. What takes over the fear to a Christian of tomorrow? You see the way we are scared. Everything, the prices are up. You are thinking about everything you see, it's really hard. Why are we scared? Do you think about tomorrow and you can't find it? The problem is what? You don't have the one who has tomorrow. When you have the tomorrow hold, the present fear and the tomorrow fear gets over because we have the one who has tomorrow. Reply to me, please. Say amen. Let's say hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? <laughs> I will tell you the word of today's story. I had a lot of things to tell me. To tell you. 21 days of praying. When we reach to praying, I sit. Because this is the greatest thing I like in life. When they reach to the point of giving out testimony, I will tell you the meaning of my name. Since I went to Sahara, Sudan, I yet give out testimony. The time will come where I will give out my testimony. Huduma. Huduma. Uh, many days prayers. Where we used to live, whenever I could get prayers of many days, they call it Huduma. This is where I was born. Let me repeat it. My name Huduma. They used to spend many days praying. So those prayers of many days is called Huduma. Then I was born in. Then they gave me this name of prayer, Huduma. My mother and my father, they told God that this is the sacrifice that we bring to you. I, was, I am a sacrifice that has been offered for long ago. When then I get to the point called praying, and I know that people are in prayers, it is something that I never joke with. I tell Christians that if you've got other reasons for you to not pray, if you've got other revelations that don't push you to pray, I'm not scared to tell you that you are in the wrong way. In life, for people who want to reach far, they never walk by feet. They use knees. If you want to reach far in life, kneel down. Uh, 
people will tell you a lot of things they tell you other many things but if you want to reach far in life hallelujah if you see others they have cars they went you find others are promoted go to your knees express express which takes people far it is to not accept to fail your knees one of the things that you won't fail in your life don't deny your knees to kneel never fell to your knees so that it may miss to kneel hallelujah the people are giving credits of prayer pray for me pray for me no one will pray for you there is one single work in the world no one can serve you a work called praying it is a personal work no one can pray for you you are giving out credit so that they can pray for you you are paying the people who can go to pray for you you give them your knees the day you will be able to shift your knees so that they can pray for you they will pray for you. But the day you will be having your knees, you need to kneel for yourself and pray. Kneel on your knees, know how to pray. Are you getting what I'm saying? <laughs> Reply and say amen. Reply and say hallelujah. Today I have 15 principles of praying. I thought, can I tell you about praying? Because you are in 21 days. We talk about praying. But they told me that it is the Thursday of this place to be taken over to us. It is a Thursday for the dispatch to be taken over. Back. <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah. 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 Let's again say hallelujah. I talked to a man who was here in Rwanda from South Africa. A man called Benjamin Dube. He left me a word which cannot be erased in my head, in my heart. We was in a press conference. The concert will take place to Inhare Arena. He was supposed to sing and I was supposed to preach. The journalists get closer to him and asked him. They told him, Bishop, how did it happen? Can you spend 35 years while you were the number first star? 35 years it's over no one has replaced you to become a star the first year a star second year Dubai. 33 years what a secret that you have used he told them that within all those years as those years are I did not fail my knees to pray he told them the second thing he told them that within all those years he used always to think about someone he can raise he did not think about by himself raise but he think there is, there is there a man down so that I can raise him is there an upcoming artist so that I can raise him praying Gusenga. Praying. A teacher of praying is called praying. A secret of praying. It is praying in secrets. Okay. Eh. Let me repeat it. Let me repeat it. A teacher of praying is called praying. Praying is what teach a person to pray. I will repeat again. <laughs> they lied to you. They lied to you. Praying is taught by praying. 
And when a person is going to pray rightly, you pray in secret. Because praying in secret, it is the secret of praying. Then Jesus told his disciples, He told them that if you pray, never be like hypocrites. When they are going to pray, lift up your hands. Let's say Amen. <laughs> It's possible that you won't love me. But I can tell you what can be important in your life. The French people give out on a proverb that never allow a person to give you a fish. But let this person teach you how to fish it. The most important that we can tell you The most important that the prophet can tell you It is to tell you that learn how to pray Mama, Mom, learn how to pray Sister, learn how to pray Brother, learn how to pray Brother, learn how to pray where the world is it requires you to pray where the world is taking us it requires us to pray something you can train your children the heritage you can give your children it is not beautiful it is not money the heritage you can give your children which is the power and he said our father and our mother passed away but he left to me what important it is to pray <laughs> how many whom got heritages from their father houses and they drank them I am from Jiporoso I am near a neighborhood of this place. It's possible that here it's a place which has many crazy people. I don't know whether you have recognized it. Since long ago, Jiporoso has many crazy people. When you meet people, they don't know you. But in their family, they were so rich. Why didn't he maintain all the treasure from the parents? <laughs> Dear sisters, dear brothers, dear parents, praying it is a sacred. Praying it is power which makes you maintain what you've been given. Your father gives you heritage, but for your heritage to be in peace, let's say hallelujah. What we've been given by God God is responsible to secure What I've got by kneeling When I get it By the result of prayers I get it I can't be its security if I get it, the one who gave it to me is the one who became the God of it. But what you shall get in other ways, you will become its God. Because God cannot be the Omega of what he has not been Alpha for. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if you have a book, please try to write something dwang. God cannot be Omega of what he didn't been for Alpha. It is impossible. What he started, he will be the one to finish it. What you started by yourself, he will be the one to finish it. But God protects what he gave. What Completes what he started. When I'm talking about this, please allow me if I keep on turning, turning to prayer. The principles of prayer. Praying is not changing the situation of prison. The best reason for us to pray. 21 days of prayer. It is not for our situation to change. 
The Christian we living in a wrong world. That change my situation. That change. change. A great purpose of prayer. In a gonya mo kuri ogusenga. No go hindura usenga. It is to change praying. I can repeat. Zaburi ami rongo chenda. Psalms chapter nineteen. Murongo chumi nagatatu. Verse thirteen. It was Zaburi ya Mos. It is called Psalms of Moses. Zaburi ya Mos. The Psalms of Moses. Mos ay and Israel muta. Moses wrote it while he was in desert. Aja kumusaza ya guseng. He went to the mountain to pray. Bandi kazaburi it was Zaburi ya Mos. They wrote Psalms of Moses. Ari mara seng. While he was praying. Murongo chumi nagatatu. To thirteen. Haravu ganguichi. How does it say? Uwe teka garuka. The Lord come up. Uye kawatize. Come reveal yourself. Uye kawatize. Oh Jesus. Uwe teka garuka. Oh Lord, how long will it be? Uye kawatize uzazariyari. Oh my God. Awa garugu wa watu kuma vitura gutegere jengu. Your servant, we are on knees. We are waiting for you to come. Uzazariyari ngudu hinduri ri yimiti. When are you coming back to change our hearts? Mureke mbabugire. Let me tell you. Havgo Moses yigeza senga bugire imana ngo uzazariyari ngudu kurire hu butayi. Moses did not pray to ask God so that he may change their decisions. Yasenza bugire imana ngo uzazariyari ngudu hinduri ri yimiti ma. And ask God to come and change their hurt. Yara vizi neza kugu hindu kaku yimiti ma. He knew whether the transformation of hearts. And it transformed the heart. This is what brought the delayance of Jesus. They delayed in this because of the heart of Israel. While God looked at their hearts, He said, "You are not qualified to come to Canaan." He said, "You are not qualified to come to Canaan." Your heart yet permits you. You yet been qualified to go to Canaan. You are not qualified to go to Canaan. While Moses, a servant of God, was praying, he said, "Oh Lord, when are you coming? You delayed. When are you coming? So that you may change our hearts. Because the transformation of hearts. It is the end of desert. Wait, wait! Don't pray for the situation you are in today. The business of God is not the change of today's situation. The business of God it is to change you. Today we have a problem of not telling people to change. Then we tell them that the present situation are going to change. It will change after God transformed your heart. Those who knows me, they call me a revolutionist. Eh, Cause changing the leadership. We need to revolt. There are things which might be changed. The business of God is not your present situation to change. The business of God it is your heart to change. When we are telling God the God situation, situation, situation. No, no. God will first deal with your heart. Because your heart. It is what has made him give you his heart. He did not give out his only begotten son. He gave it to your life so that it may change. Warirekuye utango kugira ngo ubuzima bwanje buhi nuke warirekuye utango ubukingo bwa You released yourself and you gave out your life Kuye mpamvu For which reason kugira ngo ubuzima bwanje buhi nuke For my life to change Niyo mpamvu yonyine This is the only reason Yatumye atango ubukingo bwe That has made him support his life ubuzima bwawe buhi nuke It was for your life to change so we we ignore that our lives can change. We ignore that we can change ourselves. We think that the situation deserves to change. While praying, we are not praying to change. We are 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 praying to change.
just for me. The connection or a relation you have with God It's not what he has for you The relation is what you are God doesn't take just only as simple as you think And he submit to you No, no, no He wants you that you are transformed And you've become you. When you become a child at home He tells you that what at home belongs to you But after becoming a child at home and today we don't want to become children But we want what belongs to the children of the house How do we need to get the belongs to the kingdom While well, we don't want to become the kingdom's children If we need what from the palace Let's come and tell the king that we accept to become your person I accept to become a child of the king I accept to become your child Didn't I tell you that you will not love me? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nowadays, the Christian to tell you transformation is really hard. You want us to live in the same situation. Then they tell us that we shall receive the blessing. It is impossible. It is impossible. It is impossible. It first get the transformation. Then after we receive what we need. What we need. It's in what we are expected out from. Let me repeat. What we need. It is out of what we are expected to do. When we get able to do what we are expected to do. This is when we find in what we want. Let me repeat it. Let me tell you this. These are the principles of the kingdom. We don't just run run and say hey give me. God has taken what you want. And he hides it in who you want to be. And he tells you, you, you are here. Huduma James, you are here. And you want God to give you. Then God tells you that what you're asking me, it is there where I want you to be. Have a journey for transformation. Then be who I want you to be. After becoming who I want you to be, you will get what you want. We need to understand the principles of the kingdom. If we don't understand from the principles, there are words that we're going to share. Is there any person who can hear from me? Let's lift up our hands. Let's say hallelujah. <laughs> When I talk about this, this is when I get full of joy. I feel happy. The church of God, let me tell you the truth. The time is coming. The time is coming. Look, this is the time. This is the time where we need to know the truth of the word of God. Hallelujah. These are prophets of God and they're really great. Maybe I'm not qualified to stand before them. Uh, someone said that uh, when now go I sometimes say that I'm not qualified like this. But the Bible says if the light of God has lightened to me. If the light of God has lightened to me. I started preaching uh, the gospel while I get on a ride of 600. Look at my head to go on a ride. I go looking for the people who will be saved. Then after getting tired of it, Pastor was talking about it and I feel it, I understand it very well. Then I told my brethren to go to Nyabugogo. 
There is a car which is called Jaguar. Na Kampala coach. We and Kampala coach. Numvaga kugenda na Kampala coach ari ikintu gikomeye. I felt like it was something great to go with Kampala coach. Nje mwivuga butumwa. Well I'm going to evangelize. Ngirangere nyabugogo. Then I went to Nyabugogo. Ma modokar. In the cars. Izi modokar. I said there's cars. Ngomba kuzanjyana mwivuga butumwa. You need to take me to evangelism. Numvaga ari ikintu gikomeye. I was feeling there was something really Uwe, great. Uwe, gare. You were from the right. Ugiye. And you go Vero, to Vero. Then you were entering in Jaguar. It was serious thing. It wasn't that easy. Chaguiranjana. Then Jaguar took me. Birahinduk. It has changed. Then I told my friends that my spirit is telling me to go to Kanombe. To the so that I can tell the airplanes that they will take me in evangelism. It was dreams. I sit in a plane. Where are you going? In evangelism. What's your name? Huduma James. Huduma James. You can't imagine, you can't understand. This. Possibly that maybe we're born in a place where you can see them that easier. Today, I sit. We've paid an air ticket. Please come and preach us. But before I go to preach the gospel, I first had time to go and preach to the trees. When I'm looking to 3,000 people who are sitting in a conference, what first comes in my mind, it was the first day I preached the trees. Then I prepare while well, I'm going to preach the trees. Then I go in the forest. In the name of Jesus, stand there, can you hear me? In the forest. <laughs> It doesn't come in a break morning, then you start on the ballpoot. It starts first in secret. Hallelujah. I've told you that the secret of praying it is to pray in secret. Do you know what's on time? Prayer mood. Prayer mood. Pre status. On your status. Jesus said if you pray Never be like a hypocrite They go to the, 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 the roundabout They go to the roundabout They tell people that we are praying hey. Hey. I can see your mouth uh, your, your, your lips are dry oh, We are in 21 days of praying actually. It's been a long time without it we, it's been a long time without it. We are praying. What does the Bible say? The Bible says if you want prayer and you want to go out where you shall meet people, go in your bathroom, take shower, after taking shower, take your lotion, then take your ribbon, then take it on your lips. Behave, mask like if you're not praying. Because the secret of praying it is praying in secrets. That if you go out, make sure you take your lotion. This is how the Bible says. And while you fast, it's not necessarily for people to be It is your secret. But dear sisters, pray mood. Pray mood. Pray mood. Pray mood. Kanyari Ramud. Oh, Jesus. The secret of praying. There are other people we have who attend here to pray, but don't pray at their home. Let me tell you this news. Are we still together? Can we shout hallelujah? Can we say hallelujah lifting? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus! <laughs> ah. Let me tell you this news. 
I will tell you the journey of being out of slavery so that the despise can be taken over to us. Let me repeat. The journey from slavery so that we can reach to the focal point of our despise. Because the despise to be taken over it first has the pre-journey from slaverism. Understand me. Where your despise will be taken over to you is there. God